What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? Skinny boy Randy here. Hello, 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 you guys. Welcome, welcome. I miss you guys. I've been gone for a couple of days. Welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you guys here. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, click the like and subscribe button. Yeah, you guys, it really helps out. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. We love you. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to my Facebook group and come on back. And that group is Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. Those are some great people over there, y'all. And somebody's going through what you're going through. So head on over there, ask the question, and let them know Skinny Boy Randy sent you. Also, leave a comment, share with all your social media. I'm, I'm running out of uh, moisture in my mouth, y'all. It's hot out here, and I just got off work, and I didn't slow down. I just came out here to make this video telling you what you can plant in March. Yes, you guys, I try to do these videos at least a week before the new month comes in. Can you believe it? We're going into March. I told you. See how quickly that just turned around? Just watching my little videos and just like that, we're in March. So, yes, you guys, we're in March. I'm in Zone 7, Richmond, Virginia. And now is the time of year where I can plant anything from seed or whatever. I can plant anything. We have a long growing season. I kind of grew all the way up until October, November last year. And, yes, we have that long of a growing season. My uh, last frost date is set for April the 15th. Sometimes it hits on the date, sometimes it doesn't. But depending on where you are, look up your grow zone. If you don't know how to do that, just type in grow zone in Google and it'll bring it right up for you. So let's dive right into this video. I'm not going to keep you long. So things that you want to get started in March, like I said, this is for my zone, but also if this everybody's zone, just check what week you want to do what. Some things you won't be able to plant if you're in the very colder zones, but like I said, check your zones, you guys, do your research, and, you know, just figure out what you're growing. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. So let's just dive right into this video. You can get some spinach in the ground, and I'm not going to talk about each individual item. I just want to tell you what you can start growing right now. Spinach. Watermelons. I'm so excited to get my watermelons, cucumbers, and squash planted in the ground. Cucumbers. My squash. My zucchini. Uh, turnips. Don't forget your flowers, y'all. Don't forget to get you some zinnia, some marigolds, whatever type of flowers you'd like to attract your pollinators. We need the bees, you guys. And then a lot of times, my zinnias last year, the hummingbirds loved them. I could sit on the deck and watch the hummingbirds just come and, and float midair. And the wings go so fast, you can't even see them. See, I'm floating. Okay. <laughs> but yes, you guys, the hummingbirds love the zinnias. Also, peppers. If you have not started your peppers indoors, you may be running late. But then I've timed my peppers inside, and in two months, they were ready to be transplanted outside. So if I start peppers now in March, April, May, I can plant them. They'll grow all the way up until it's time for them not to grow. Okay. So don't forget your peppers, you guys. Kales, all of your leafy greens, your lettuces, cabbages. I'm even starting eggplant indoors, you guys, because that's a hot weather crop, and I want it ready for my raised bed. I had two uh, uh, eggplant trees last year. I'm quite sure you guys saw those videos. Turned out beautifully, but they came from from bonnie plants so this year i'm going to plant my own from seed and they're doing great so far also your pole beans your string beans uh your peas all that kind of stuff don't forget tomatoes you can get those in the ground right now i uh, just see peas cantaloupes i'm so excited about growing my melons you guys i'm going to make it work this year i tried to get watermelon and cantaloupe last year but as i know i told you this is my second year gardening here this home so we're still learning the yard and, and we're learning what we can grow where so never give up you guys never give up because you can do it and then uh, you can get you some celery in the ground. If you're trying to start it indoors, you may have a little time. And if you just want to put some in the ground and just let it come up, however it comes up, that's that's just fine too. So let me just recap so I don't forget anything. Things that you can plant in March, okay? You can start with your lettuce, cabbage, peas. If you want to pause the video, <laughs> lettuce, cabbage, peas, herbs, including your chives, your, uh, your dill and your basil. I typed all this up, y'all, so I don't forget. Uh, your tomatoes, get those indoors now. Start them now because we're going to get another frost and you don't want your little plants outside. And even if you drop some seeds in the ground, tomato plants will come up when they're ready. Also, your peppers, start getting them going now. Melons, they don't like to be grown indoors but for a couple of weeks, maybe two to three weeks, maybe four, depending on your growing area, how much space you have, and when you plan to transplant outside. So try not to start them too early because they come up so fast, you guys, within days. Your squash, cucumber, zucchini eggplant beets carrots spinach 
kale, cauliflower, radish, broccoli, turnips, potatoes, regular and sweet, your carrots, don't forget your flowers, your kohlrabi, and your celery. I think I got everything covered just that uh, so far. And just in case you want a screenshot, let me just put up what I typed up. Yeah, yeah, we're scrolling, y'all. You know, at the end of the movie, how they scroll. Am I getting the scroll? We're doing the scroll. This is the end of the video, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Because we ain't got no money to be doing our professional editing. We ain't got no money to go to professional editing school. Anybody see those professional editing school? Am I getting it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you guys. And those were the credits at the end of this video. I love you guys. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Scroll stuff you need it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Stay tuned for a special announcement, a big surprise that I'm going to be making a video on after I make this one. And you guys are going to be blown away, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much. You're the best. Y'all know I can never find that button.